enjoy college. They can't even handle a question. College graduates walked off. Sure, it's bad. I Another agree. 37-year-old was like a comedian, didn't say nothing funny the whole time. Okay. The other one was a 33-year-old, like fucking weird, like drunk, coked out Italian broad. And she didn't, it, bro, she's 10 years older than me. Made no sense. She annoyed the chat so much that, bro, you gotta go. Sure. Here's you gotta like, go. This is a question that I have, okay? It seems like you guys, when you guys talk about women, you get annoyed that women are like, they're kind of slutty, they don't have any good values, not good like home takers or, or uh, caretakers, like the home. Like basically they're just like degenerate Kim Kardashian clones. Yes. Right? But then when you guys are talking on the podcast, like, well, what do you want in a woman? You're like, I don't want a woman that works. I don't want a woman that's smart. I don't want a woman that works. I don't want a girl boss. I don't want a girl boss, independent only. And I want and I want to date twenty women at once. Yeah. When you are putting that out in the world, isn't that aren't you making those types of women? No. Like a woman with a college degree is not getting your eye. It's no. going to be like a woman with a Brazilian butt lift who's like fucking, you know. Right, you, you, yeah, I've dated tons of like smart PhD bro. They're all the same. They, they all think the same stuff. You think, that, you think that a woman that goes through school and is working, looking for work is the same as like one same. of these like yacht girls out yep. here looking for. No, they think, think the same so. things. They follow Kim Kardashian. No, they watch the same shows. So. That's just the truth. Last night. So why were they like that? Why? I don't know. what I don't know the types of girls going fresh and fit. I can't say. The I can't types of girls. They do it every night. There was 11 girls on last night and they all made no sense. Well, listen, if they're on Friday, you know, I can pick their brains a little bit. Are they going to be? Right, well, we could do a debate, and then yeah, I want you to like, I want you to like, open up your mind to the whole nature that all these West, all these Western worlds, like, they're fucking brainwashed, bro. They are brainwashed from TikTok. And Instagram has completely changed the dynamic. Their self esteems are so high because the amount of DMs. I, there was a 37 year old mom on the podcast, and she was like talking about the young guys DMing her, and she has no idea about her market value. She said she was a 10. You're 37 with a kid. What are you talking about? Sure. I'm, the closer date, the age to your, I'm closer in age to her son than you, and I know you make no sense. You're 37, you're washed up. It's time to get. It's time to find a guy. Why are you out of Miami with the titties out, mom, mommy? That's true. And that's, that's there are what problems, they all think now, bro. I, I, you don't have to run to the most extreme opposite end of the other fucking side of the spectrum. That's all I'm saying. Don't let them chase you off. I agree. There's a lot of crazy fucking people on, on, on the other side, on my side. There absolutely are. I spent most of the last fucking three years fighting with. That's why I'm banned from Twitch. Because yeah. I fight with those people. I understand it. But um, and I am surprised that that didn't wake you up more. The fact that you can't I'm woken have... up. What do you mean? I've been fighting with these people for years. I understand what that people? they're lunatics. The insane people on the left. The insane progressives. The people that you walk voted around. For sure, because <laughs> I'm not going to let them. for Biden. Because I'm not going to let them bully me out of my positions that I think are important. Why do you keep stuff. belittling crypto and e-commerce as if it's not like because just a new bullshit. age money? Because e-commerce is bullshit. What you do is, is like a step away from that. You're making money online. E-commerce, having an online business and providing value for people. What's different? E-commerce than... is like scamming arbitrage. What is it? Like you buy shit from China and you try to resell it to people at a markup? That's exactly what Nike does. I don't that, care. You're, that's exactly what every business does. Number one, that's not what Nike does. Okay. Well, yes, it's exactly what they do. No, it's not. That's what iPhone does. Everything is reselling shit no. from China. No. Nike designs shoes. And Apple designs phones. Where are they made? Doesn't matter where they're where are they made. Where they made? They're made okay, in so the e-commerce people who sell headphones and resell them, where they made? China. It's the same shit on a smaller scale. Rebranding somebody else's shit that they made and then trying to sell it at a higher price because somebody doesn't know better isn't providing. If 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 all of e-commerce in the world disappeared, we wouldn't lose anything. If Nike and Apple disappeared, we'd lose shoes in the iPhone. That's the difference between e-commerce and okay, Apple on and a Nike. smaller scale, just a product with less value. E-commerce is like the dudes in, you live in New York, they're like the guys in um, Central Park selling bottles of water for like $2 each. Yeah. Hustling. Yeah, exactly. What's but they're not making hustling, one, man? There's nothing wrong with it, but I'm just saying that like, So why are you one, so mad about not, it? I'm not mad about it. You're like, crypto's only fans. Like, what are you talking about? Because one, not everybody can make it in crypto. Everybody can. How? How? By definition. Everybody can.